Hi, I'm Jonathan. Welcome to Next Level Jewelry, bringing you all the information technology goodies uh, for your jewelry business. So in my previous video, I explained what uh, an enterprise resource planning or, or ERP system is in general terms and uh, what you have to look for and uh, uh, what uh, you have to watch for overall. And we'll get into more details in some uh, future videos on each of these topics. But uh, let's say you go ahead and find your perfect software and you subscribe for it uh, or you buy it. So what's next? Um, as the very first thing, uh, you need to really understand uh, your processes. And this is... Another important uh, question, you know, while you may understand your overall uh, uh, business and uh, your business processes, the devil is usually in the details, as they say, and achieving automation is impossible without, without having your processes documented precisely uh, and in high detail. In fact, you know, many company leaders are surprised when they face uh, the fact that what they sort of consider simple day-to-day -day tasks are in reality much more difficult and, and uh, uh, to re you know, difficult to really understand and to put it on a flowchart. However, it can be very useful to complete this time-consuming task even um, if you have to involve an external consulting firm because doing so it can shed light on why some of the processes aren't effective enough. And uh, you may also realize that there are some processes or steps that are repeated within different departments with no added benefit whatsoever. So ideally you would want to assign someone with IT project management experience and a deep understanding of your business uh, to help you with uh, doing this analysis. However, you know, most small businesses don't have such a person on their team. So you may consider hiring a, a consultant. Um, and while this can be helpful, having an external consultant involved is sort of a double-edged sword. Um, someone with, with experience in uh, mapping out business processes can help uh, by quickly documenting and understanding the processes themselves. However, if that person is not experienced in the jewelry industry, they will most likely make mistakes uh, when it comes uh, to process optimization. Um, making jewelry can be very complex um, and every company has their own best practices based on the type of jewelry uh, they make and the artisanship uh, employed. The second step of implementation is getting your processes in order. Um, so the question is, should you keep old processes and optimize them or should you create new ones? Um, it is worth considering uh, whether you should stick to uh, all uh, your existing processes or uh, try to exploit the new possibilities that the software provides. You know, changing, changing processes usually meets some resistance because company staff tends to be against changing existing processes since these have already sort of became, become a, a part of uh, the organizational culture and there is a routine to them. Um, at the same time, sometimes it is a good idea to get rid of unproductive routines uh, as long as uh, they have been correctly identified as this is part of uh, any growth uh, and uh, development of the company. Now, my recommendation is that you always walk the path of least resistance and you implement your ERP software as to match your existing processes with the least amount of changes uh, to your processes. Now, this will allow your staff to keep doing things the way they used to do, so no major interruption is introduced in the business. Also, if there is or there are any critical issues uh, with the newly implemented system, they can be worked out uh, while people sort of fall back on their experience and on their usual manual processes. Um, you know, after all, the key is to keep the business going. Um, then once everything works with the new system and your employees are used to the new ways of entering data and using new tools, you can start optimizing uh, your processes by introducing new workflows, uh, testing them, uh, measuring them, and then controlling their implementation uh, on, on the, in the uh, company level. At that point, um, your new ERP system will become a tool to optimize and grow your business and will start uh, to exponentially generate real value. Now, the third step um, is the actual implementation. Um, as I have mentioned before, there is no software that has um, everything you need. Uh, therefore, you will need uh, to choose those main functionalities that you wish to focus on and want to implement in the shortest time possible. Um, the main objective here should be to go live with the new system as soon as possible with the minimal interruption uh, uh, for your business. This is usually followed by uh, a period of fine-tuning and when the system is ready to be used uh, for actual work, then you can work on the uh, automation of those processes that are less important. One of the usual questions uh, that we get from business owners is, how long will the actual implementation take? Uh, because most of the company owners have never been through this process at their current company, it is 
very hard for them to um, grasp you know how much time is actually needed to implement an automated management system so um, before we can even answer that ourselves there are many questions that uh, would need to be answered like um, okay who will manage the uh, project um, is it necessary uh, to customize uh, the system uh, at least in the uh, first round of the project um, is your data um, ready to be imported into the new system or does it need uh, mapping how much data do you uh, want to import and uh, how far back you want to go in time with that um, again you know how clean and structured is your current database is it easy to move it over um, how many databases all together are, are we talking about how many different uh, uh, formats uh, you know sheets google sheets excel sheets and so on are you using right now to store that data so these all these sheets and data sets need to be merged eventually so it's good to know how much uh, data we are talking about and how to parse all that data so another thing how complex are your jewelry styles and so on you know there are many other uh, important questions that you need to ask before um, implementation um, uh, configuring jewelry styles workflows importing data connecting systems uh, come with many challenges uh, and those less experienced in the field uh, I usually ask uh, how long do we need for the implementation is it four weeks is it two months is it six months so this is uh, usually going back to the lack of necessary experience so I I personally think that minimum time needed for implementation is about Two to three months but most complex projects can take as much as two years to fully implement and this is pretty standard time for implementation in the field for any erp type business management software whether it's for small or large businesses um, and while there are things that every company needs the level of complexity and the needs will determine the actual length of the implement implementation and it's hard to have a, 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 an accurate estimation until you sort of have the boots on the ground and you start walking uh, the path um, Another important consideration that you need to keep in mind throughout the entire implementation uh, is um, how should you prepare your staff for the switch. Um, so if tracking the process was entirely paper-based, then automation is going to be a huge step in your company's life. And this is why it isn't enough uh, if only management commits to the project. It is important that this step is appropriately communicated to the staff. Otherwise, you may be facing strong opposition uh, for the switch and even a reward um, and everyone in the company needs to understand the importance of this step and the benefits it will bring uh, to the company and i strongly suggest that you uh, talk to the staff and listen to them listen to the concerns especially while there will be positive feedback there will be plenty of concerns and you need to address all those during the uh, software evaluation and implementation phases um, and the commitment uh, and resolve of the management will also influence the staff, as it always does, in both good and bad ways. So if, if your commitment to the uh, new software solution is tepid, then don't expect your people to be overly enthusiastic and happy about it either. Um, and the same uh, goes the other way around too. If they see that this is something you really want to do and are enthusiastic about, they will follow your lead. Um, now, after the implementation, the day-to-day -day routine of uh, your staff will somewhat change, but they shouldn't feel that unnecessary steps have been introduced uh, to their way of working. Uh, for example, uh, let's say um, that when they finish a job, they need to scan uh, an envelope which registers the uh, movement of the envelope in the system from one location to the next. Now, this is a huge step for the company because the job now can be uh, tracked automatically. However, now this is also an extra step for someone because this wasn't part of uh, their work uh, process before uh, while the tracking was done manually. However, they should know that overall the extra step that they do uh, is in fact improving the process as a whole and now uh, no one has to spend time to find lost envelopes um, um, because they are all accounted for in the system. So don't forget to pre prepare your personnel appropriately as the success of the project will depend on this uh, in a big way. Uh, and finally, once the implementation is completed and your staff is using the new system, when exactly will you start seeing the result of the transition? Um, the difference can be usually felt in a relatively short time, but at least one or two months are needed after going live for the staff to create a new routine and get used to the new screens and the new data to be entered. Once the first round of questions and issues are uh, worked out, the automation uh, starts um, sort of working fluently. The main pointers uh, for the results are, um, you know, if, if work is more effective, uh, then there is less paperwork and less data to be entered. 
um, there are less errors and less complaints uh, from your customer service uh, department or you know generally from your customers you are able to process more orders in the same amount of time you know the throughput of your entire operation is drastically improved uh, your customer service improves uh, and there are less calls and questions from your customers uh, your customer service will start fielding less complaints and hopefully hear more thank yous. Uh, processes can be monitored in real time so you start knowing things uh, that you didn't know before, like getting alerts for issues before they become problems. The possibility to generate the right reports which help making better and quicker decisions, uh, such as what to buy uh, and when, or if you should work overtime or add more staff and so on, uh, will become clear. Uh, all in all, automation will result in a more cost-effective operation and also increase your sales as your customers get better and faster service. And word starts to get around about that too. Now, these results will be proof that the company is on the path of growth. Uh, this growth will be substantial compared to um, a paper-based administration. So you will start seeing all these things fall into place. So as you can see, the uh, transition from paper-based management uh, to an automated management uh, software is a, a time-consuming and complex uh, process. Uh, choosing the right jury management uh, software is merely a small slice of this process, and the success of implementation depends on many other factors as well. And I always suggest that you find the time to prepare your staff uh, for the transition, and if um, necessary, take the time to review uh, the existing processes, uh, but at the same time, always look to implement an enterprise resource planning or ERP software system that you can start with easily, that is flexible, adaptable, and customizable so that you uh, can build uh, on it for years to come. Thanks again for watching Next Level Jury. I hope uh, this was informative, so please subscribe to my channel and come back to see more videos about how you can make your jury business better.